welcome back. Now, a couple of things spring to mind when you first get to the site. First of all is finding a supermarket so we can go and get some food and possibly even some petrol for our trips out and about. And after consulting the Aramwi app, I can see there too are two, a fairly smallish local supermarket and a massive, massive Leclerc, even with a petrol station undercover as well, especially if you've got leather seats, you know where I'm coming from there. And if you're so bothered, an adjacent like Toys R Us store, my dear, that's gone busted now as well, but you know what I mean, something to entertain the kids. The next portal has to be the local beach, but literally it's five minutes away. You jump in your car, out of the site and you hang a left or 30 minute walk if you want to go by foot through the middle of the site. Now if you do elect to go by car you'll find at the end of it a free car park with one of those height restriction barriers. Just our luck it's in the middle of nowhere and guess what road works. Does that mean we have to follow him? I don't know what it means. Oh the painting lines oh well here we go. As we found out they're doing this quite a lot of the place, certainly within the Brittany area anyway, where the road is kind of given way to cyclists stroke pedestrians on either side of the road and cars get one lane down the middle. You are allowed to move over, as we'll closely see, there's a car coming around this bend actually. Oh, a nice buy of my little eye, that's good enough. Put the roof bars on, blow it up back at the site and away we go. Now this car park is huge. So we expect this to be full in the height of season. Remember, we're out of school term, so that's two weeks before, and that includes the French kids as well. Now that means that the cars can't go any further unless, of course, you're disabled. But that also means that there is a nice little road going all the way up to the beach. Then to get these trees on the left, harvesting some really big pine cones. That reminds me of the Hobbit film. So looking down the path in the other direction, either from left to right or right to left, you'll see a whole load of bikes there. That is actually a cycle path which goes all the way round the coast. And if you go a bit further just before we get to the beach, there is also a beach walk you can take on if you don't want to get involved with cycles. But all that's to come. We've not long been here, so we've got ourselves on the pitch. You saw in the previous film what a bit of a mare that was reversing in. We've also been up to the supermarket, filled the fridge up. We've also put all the awning and stuff up. So now we're ready to just go down and dip our toes in the water and begin to relax. Oh, and there's the other flag, so I need to bear that in mind. I have to be, what, when Tate is paddling board out, I'm not allowed to be between the two flags. Now, if you recall, um, back in the UK, I put my bike on the back of the caravan. And then Fiona said to me, actually, you can stick my bike on the back, to which there was an, a shock in my face, because she never goes out on it. But this is completely flat. So she had no trials or tribulations bar doing it. And now that the roads are painted where you only have one car, the confidence levels are higher. So 20 minutes later, we're there. And then when you've done that paddling, you're greeted with this. I was say paddling, but it wasn't, it's peddling. I'm going to go down and look for shells. Okay. So if somebody doesn't pedal at all, we're home. That was a pretty proud moment. Well done for you. Well worth it though. Cut it. I think we might have to fight for some room. I mean, just look how packed it is. And now that I know that I can leave the paddleboard on the roof all pumped up, fabulous, here we go. And yes, it's fair to say it did get a little bit of use. <laughs> well, there's more people here than last time, but it's still not busy. Remember, pass the flag, 
and then you can take it out. GoPro on. And apart from walking on the beach, there is a little beach walk, which no doubt will take. I'll tell you what, it's cooler today, and there's loads of seaweed on the beach. I thought I could smell it. There wasn't half of oh, the yeah. seaweed, was there? Loads of it. Let's go along here, see? They've got their swimming flags in there. Yeah, all the lifeguards are there, look. Oh, is that a lifeguard station? Uh, okay. Yeah. There's two or three of them. It's a nice breeze. Yeah, it's an old chill breeze, which is good. It's good for us walking because you can feel the underlying heat. This is not easy to walk on, is it? No, it really isn't. I think there might be a diver off to the right up here. Yeah, well, down to the left. Up down to the, the beach. bigger path, yeah. Because we're basically walking on sand dunes here. Yeah. We can't go any further. Restoration de la June. It's getting a lot wetter here. Oh, there's one, one behind you as well. Oh, oh yeah. And another one there. Another one there. Perfect one there. I'm standing on them. I think that one's pinky. Do they have eyes? Yeah, okay. Lots of jellyfish then. What a lovely beach walk. Not much seaweed here. No, it's much nicer. Of, probably because of all that lot, all them rocks. Yeah. See, that rock. This one, that looks more like a nice seat. It is, it's a perfect seat height, this one. That's one hell of a beach. That's what to do, isn't it? Bring your electric bikes down onto the beach. Oh, well, there has to be something said about going for a walk. Hmm. That's fabulous for you down there, sir. Well, that water coming out of there. Or if the water flying out. That is obviously a main road that comes all the way down here. There's people sat in there, trying to get something to eat. Flash, There's even toilets. Now, we actually walked down that way last time because there is this walk down the side of the trees. Should we go that Gives way? Gives you a tree route. Did you fancy that? Yeah, it's got a bit of shade. It's it's not quite as exposed, is it? No. Okay. Is it a it rose? It's a random pink flower. Is it ro a rose, I think, maybe? Mm. Well, no, it's not a rose. It looks like a rose, it's all thorny. It's a vehicle. But they've probably got much of acorn tree. Oh, yeah, there is. There's acorns in that tree. I know everyone's really thinking it's not an acorn, uh -huh. they're pine okay. cones, Steve. Well, it's really thorny, look. So it could be a rose. Some more over here. Okay. And that's it, we're back. Anyway, enough of the beach. Now, one of our first out and about treks takes us due north. It's only an hour and a half away up to, I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of that place, but there we go. That's where we're off to. And the other peninsula, which is due west, plug off, what a place, will feature on our next out and about video. Now, whilst we were aware that the actual Spanish fort was closed, the views from the top are really quite spectacular. And it's not that far off by the looks of it that the French will be reopening the site quite soon. The car park looks nearly finished. Oh yeah, 
1883. Now apart from Spain controlling in this area, looks like the Germans did as well, because that is U-boat pens. Ooh, gun turrets. Definitely some activity that went on around here. I mean, look at that, it's all covered up now with foliage. But the views, certainly not disappointing. We continue on as food is beckoning. And did I mention that the mobile signal is superb around here? Even that you can do FaceTime calls? Same it's not like that in the UK. And the food here was very good, by the way. Now, now coming up, you'll see that if, I suppose, if you lived here, you'd be able to take a boat trip and go round the outside. They call it a circuit. But as you'll be able to see on here, the road does that as well. So guess what we will be doing? But first, you have to carry on up. I get a book. No, it's up here. No, you won't. Now you've got to catch me first. I told her there's more steps. It goes all the way up to there's a street light up there, so yeah. Hello. Just going across the path in front of me. Oh yeah. Only a little one. See? It's worth coming up anyway. Right. On my turn upwards. There's quite a view of the rooftops up here. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the way back you come across these. We're just driving down here and saw this. Look at that place all the way through there in the distance. Through it. Do you know one of the best things about a touring type holiday like this? You can just stop whenever you like to. And here's a classic example. We went over the bridge and there was a really nice looking place on the right hand side. So we just pulled in and had a look. But another nice place to stop, suck up the atmosphere, do a little harbour walk, stop for a drink, perhaps even a boat trip. But for us, back to the site, a bit of uh, relaxation there will do, it's early evening after all. Now for me, this was somewhere I wanted to go to, Lorient as this whole area featured quite heavily in World War II. Now the British flattened their city, but the submarine's pen survived, and they even have a submarine here that you can go and have a look at. Now if you're into your World War II history, I'd suggest you check out the video called The Greatest Raid of All. Presented by Jeremy Clarkson, it is absolutely fantastic. The most VCs and focuses on Saint Nazaire. But back to Lorient. Ooh, there she is. And uh, we'll have a spot of lunch just before we go in. And you can't miss it. It does have this massive octopus outside look. Here we are. Today we're taking a little trip to Lorient. Or uh, Lorraine. Oh, however it is. Lorient. Okay, very good. Uh, it, 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 well, this place was famous for having submarine pens and the reason why it's famous is Britain dropped loads and loads of bombs on them and blew the entire town up, or city, I don't know what it was then, probably a town. Didn't actually blow up the summer no, so uh, they're well built. So we're down here for a little tour and there's a museum bit, we're going to have a look. Now that is a submarine pen in the distance there, in fact there's a whole line of them. And behind us is the building where we purchase our tickets, but that, in front of us, is the museum. As far as museums go, this is what you expect. There's things to look at, there's lots of films to watch, there's lots of information. It was really empty because of the time of year, which we really liked. Um, but we have to remember that um, many, many people died during the war, so it's a sombre place, a place of um, thinking 
more than anything else. All right, dude. Yeah, but that's not Second World War, is it? So we've just been in to see the submarine. That, that was, and there's a little museum walk around in mm. the jet too. That was quite good. It's interesting. Was it as good as the one that sent those air? Well, San Nazaire was linked to this one, but bigger. It held. And you could walk around all the pens. Yeah. Which here, here you can't do. You can go through a submarine, which makes me really glad I was never in the Navy or did anything to do with submarines because oh, yeah. small spaces shared with a lot of people, no yeah. chance. Yeah. But it showed how important this place was, always has been actually, but especially during the Second World War and why the Allied forces basically destroyed it. All and, in all though, from, you know, it's only an And a bit away, and it's the best mm. part of half a day. And then you got the driving on top of that. There's loads of bits of wreck though here. Yeah. But this is until the, the Germans got hold of it and then kicked the people out and said we'll have this. Yeah. That's the most important bit of the yeah. But that's it, we've had enough. Back to the main site for us where I see we have some new neighbours. And we get a cheese board out. But let me tee up the next video, in fact two videos because what I've had to do is split it into two parts because it's so much to talk about. But either way, this is all about the new caravan. I have a sneaky feeling you'll enjoy this. So, what we found on this one, if you have to use two hands, and you still do it to unlock it. We've got it to do up, but I've had to, we've had to tighten these screws back up because this whole thing fell apart. Apart from that, please like subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.